Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. Alrighty, when we left off, we had just gotten to, well, Nar Shadda, walked a little bit into our landing area, and, uh helped this guy who was getting accosted by exchange thugs after telling a Toydarian that we're not going to pay him for the spot and we'll deal with whoever he had arranged that spot to be for later. So that's what we'll be doing in the future. But for right now, we're going to talk to the guy we just saved. Thanks for your help. They would have crippled me for sure. I mean... They would have done something. I don't know about necessarily that, but probably something. Um. Whoa. Whoa. Bottom one is actually not that bad. Yeah, I'll go with the top one. I couldn't stand by and let them hurt you. Why were they hunting you? Well, they worked for the exchange for a quarren named Visquis. He's looking to step up in the Visquiz. exchange. Huh. The only language the exchange respects is money. So Visquis is trying to increase his profits by using the refugees here in Nar Shadda as a cheap labor force. We're only good to him as slaves and merchandise. He wants to keep us in one place so he can control us. That's always been the way. Well, except lately. What do you mean? The exchange has been clamping down on the refugee sector hard, and I've no idea why. They've started kidnapping people, hurting others, but there seems to be no reason to it. Where can I find Visquis? <laughs> you don't. He comes to you. If he's got reason to. Either because you can help him out, or because you're making trouble. Either way, it's not a good thing. Hmm. Well, you'd better head out of here before you run into any more trouble. Whatever your reasons, thanks. You're welcome. Light side. Whoa. Spare a few credits, friend. The music got a little goofy in my headset. That was weird. Hmm. I could just be like, no. Lie and say no. Um. Be mean about it. Or do it in exchange for information. Interesting. Well, uh having more information is always good so i'll go with that why not i can in exchange for some information uh all right i don't know much beyond the refugee sector here but i can share what i know that's still better than what i have which is nothing uh tell me about the refugee sector this sector's filled with refugees from the jedi civil war and even as far back as the mandalorian wars Jeez. refugees and war veterans both and anyone else who was rendered homeless by the war. Mm. The Jedi destroyed planets across the galaxy. And here's where the wreckage ended up. The Jedi didn't do this. The Sith did. That's two names for one thing. It's difficult to tell yeah, across the world. Yeah, the world doesn't care. The Sith were led by Jedi. The galaxy the doesn't end, care, didn't I know. Make much difference. Yeah, yeah, I know. But it's a principle of the thing. Yeah. Okay. Why are the refugees here? A lot of space lanes cross at Nar Shadda, and once here, it's hard to move on. Mm. Even fighter pilots from the war can't get work at the docks. The freighter crews are full up. There's no work here and no way out. Unless you want to become a hired muscle for the exchange or work in a hut slave camp. Yeah, those aren't a lot of good options. Like, at all good. Yeah. Fuck. Mm -hmm. Do you know someone named Zezkael? No, should I? He doesn't sound like a hut. Because he's not. What, is he a bounty hunter or an exchange boss? Not really. Well, if you don't know the name, then telling you what he is isn't going to help me either. I'll be going now. Friend. You did promise some credits in exchange for information. Oh. 
fair enough. Uh, whoa. <laughs> Let you live, whoa. Okay, of course, here's five credits. Look, one other thing. It's obvious you're new around here. I can tell it just by looking at you. Oh, really? Notre Dame can be a rough place and easy to get lost in. If you want, I can keep an ear out for you. Let you know if I hear anything. And what do you get out of it? Life's been better. And every credit can go a long way. Just think it over. Okay. Fair enough. I saw what you did to those exchange thugs, stranger. Can you spend a few credits, maybe help another refugee in need? Uh, I have nothing for you. Get out of my way. Get out of here before I kill you. That's very dark sidey. This one's kind of in the middle. And I could just give him the five credits. This is the moment that I think Freya will have something to say. I won't forget your kindness. Uh huh. Why did you do such a thing? Yep. Such kindnesses you know will mean nothing. His path is set. Giving him what he has not earned is like pouring sand into his hands. Mm hmm. And this is me trying to justify the reason. Huh. His path is set. It may help him, if nothing else but to survive. And would that be a kindness? What if by surviving another day he brings a greater darkness upon another? And what if he doesn't? The force binds all things. The slightest push, the smallest touch, sends echoes throughout life. Even an act of kindness may have more severe repercussions than you know or can see. By giving mm -hmm. him something he has not earned, perhaps all you have helped him become is a target. Seeing another elevated often brings the eyes of others who suffer. Mm. And perhaps in the end, all you have wrought is more pain. And that is my lesson to you. Be careful of charity and kindness, lest you do more harm with open hands than with a clenched fist. Hmm. I will consider what you have said. Good. Mind what I have said. Use your power, but in its proper place. I still get light side points, and I get influence with crap. Okay. Can't complain about that. Swoop garage. Okay. And what did he want? Not much. Just answers to some questions. Really? Interesting. Oh. Interesting. Gone as soon as I can turn around. Yet. I'll come seek you out if I do. Yeah. Let me know as soon as you hear anything. Hmm. Apparently he's willing to tell anyone information for credits. Anyone. Airspeed navigation in airspeed or navigation interface? What? What? Is that even for? Intended to be compatible with most current airspeeder models. Huh? <laughs> what or who is that for? Uh, I mean. No idea. Advanced contoured grip. Okay, I didn't expect to get that. All right, uh, let's see. Does it do things I want? No, it, it incurs a damage penalty. That's going to be a no for me. Ooh. Wait, then again. Did, what did it do? Modifier for attack. Hmm.
Okay. Who did I have? Okay. I'm pretty sure I didn't have... Yeah, I don't have anything for her stuff yet. Oi. Okay. So I guess I will break down that new thing I picked up. Since I don't need... Eh, I might hold on to that. But I don't need that. I definitely do not need... This. At least not right now, anyway. In fact, I don't think anyone needs it that badly. So I'll just break it down. Um... Oh. Defense bonus and plus to dexterity. Interesting. Destroy that, because I don't need that. In comparison to the other one. Uh, don't need that many security tunnelers. Like at all. Um, uh, okay. Let's go to creatable items. And let's see. I can't do anything. <laughs> strengthening any further than I already have. Man! Come on. Oh, well. While I'm in here. Okay. I am TT32, the 32nd maintenance assistance model to be employed by my master. How may I assist you? The 32nd model? Oh yes, the previous 31 models employed by Master Tien have met explosive ends or have shut down. It is not t Master Tien's fault, however. He's simply forgetful due to his age and failing eyesight. I'm proud to have lasted this long. Aha! Right. Although the... Explosive ends bit. Seems like it should uh, concern you a little bit. But then again, you are a droid. You don't really have emotions. Okay, whatever. Explosive ends. Yes, many accidents have occurred here in the garage, and sometimes when equipment is used improperly, damage to droids or to the surrounding environment occurs. But please ignore the carbon scoring on the walls. The accidents are infrequent. Master Tien is truly a craftsman. Right. I'll be looking to buy some equipment. I'm afraid all transactions must be cleared through Master Tien. Is there any other way I can be of assistance? I guess there's no assistance you can actually give me, so bye. Tien Tub. Where did I leave the hydrospanner? Eh, who's that? Someone in front of me. Raise your chin 5 degrees and rotate your head 15 degrees to your right, Master Tien. Ah, darkness has fallen upon my eyes, a curse of age. What brings you here, visitor? Are you all right? All right? Yes, my eyes have filled before their time, but my hands and hearing are still sharp. But I am not blind to sounds, no matter how quiet, so address me with respect. Now, br what brings you here? Uh, business. Ah, good, good. Business is always welcome. Uh, what kind of business are you in, human? Uh, depends. What is this place? What is this place? It is the finest vehicle repair shop this side of the moon is what it is. Do you need some work done on your ship? If so, you can speak at me. Can you change the ID transponder codes on my ship? Could I? Will I? Not legal. Frowned upon by government peoples with both and stunners. Bad troubles for Tien. I can pay you for your time. It is not a matter of payment, it's a matter of equipment. Transponder cards are permanent once written. I have not. I would need the new transponder card you wish to use, or a blank card and an ID signature. Bring me this and we can discuss payment. Okay. Fair enough. 
Can I use your workbench? Ah, yes, you may avail yourself to it. It is no trouble. But please return the hydro spanner to its proper place when it is done. And the fusion cutter. And the plasma torch. Makes sense. Okay. Bye bye So we at least have the guy who can do it. I just need the items for it. Chani bottle armor, Senegar war suit. I'm getting a lot of armor. Excuse me, one thing before you go. I was wondering if I might prevail you for a favor. Favor. It's come to my attention that my predecessor wasn't carelessly destroyed by Master Tien. Okay. But you just said he was. The fuck is going on? What happened to him? After the last accident he in the garage, he was scrapped. He was then picked up by a junk dealer, a mechanical cannibal by the name of Coden. Filthy beast, large tusks, very unpleasant. Okay. What would you like me to do? I was wondering if you might be able to get him back. Not for sentimental reasons, mind you. The utility droid in question has some plans of Master Tien stored in its memory core. The plans are really quite necessary to be retrieved. What plans? Oh, I'm not at liberty to say. They are really quite sensitive. Suffice to say that they are necessary. Um, They aren't dangerous, are they? Oh no, they're simply schematics for a new prototype droid shield. Quite fascinating, really. One of his rare moments of genius. Of course, it occurs to me that I shouldn't have said that to you just now, since it was intended to be some something of a secret. I fear we will need the schematics if we intend to stay in business. Master Tien has fallen on hard times. Yeah, I figured that it would eventually give up the information if I just kept teasing it a little bit. Just kept twerking it. Tweaking. That's what I meant. Tweaking. I'm almost half tempted to start the episode over. <laughs> that was a bad word choice. That was word salad. Okay, that was not what that was. Let's see. If I can get a free version of that part once it's built, then I'll do it. Oh, thank you. I knew you were a helpful sentient as soon as my photoreceptors focused on you. I was yawning in the middle of that bit. If you retrieve my predecessor's memory core, then I would be most appreciative. What does the droid look like? It is a small astromech droid. Brown, a little battered, but quite loyal and dutiful. Its, designa its designation is IT-31. Where can I find Coden? He works out in the main hub here in the refugee sector. He should have a graveyard of poor droids around him. Please be careful. As Aquilish go, Coden is really a rather nasty specimen. Okay. Cool beans. And where does this go? Oh. A little... Office area. Mandalorian assault rifle. Ma Mandalorian assault rifle. Energy. Fully upgradable. It's fully upgradable as. And it's got a plus two to modifier. Also does stun. The only difference is that it's not unstoppable for the damage. That's cool. That's pretty cool. I think that's worth holding on to. Okay, hello, Vosk. You're brave to walk here next to die. In landing on Narshida, you have stepped into the crate dragon's jaws. Who are you? I'm Vosk, one of the bounty hunters, once of the bounty hunters guild, and now no longer. You have nothing to fear from me. And why is that? Because I am no longer one of them. I do not hunt as they do, as cowards, as honorless bastards. Membership in this guild is in name only. Most are killers, assassins. Something has taken their hunter's heart and twisted it. Those of the guild no longer take pleasure in the hunt, only in the kill. Bounty hunting has become murder. Ooh, geez. That's not good. You're Trandoshan. You guys are heavy into the hunt. So that 
that wouldn't sit right with you. That makes sense. Yeesh. Or at least this, this is one of the few ones with morals. Either or. I have other questions for you. Ask your questions. I have time enough for that. You sound as if you hate the guild. Membership is in the guild is name only. Most are killers, assassins. Oh, it's already gone over that. Okay. Uh, you mentioned the guild had laws. Yes, there were oaths to the bounty hunter's creed, honored in blood. There were laws to hunts and bounties, once upheld, now no longer. This is not known to many, but the bounty hunter's creed has been infected. Laws are fragile, broken easily. What laws do they uphold? A contract is honored, and they are not to attack each other if they are chasing the same prey. So if they were all hunting one person, they couldn't attack each other? Yes, and that is why the Smuggler's Moon has become quieter in the past months. They all hunt Jedi, and they all hunt uselessly. Someone is playing them for fools. We're some of the prime bounty hunters. There are many. The Smuggler's Moon has become their home. An entire nest of Gan who have come. All of them having left their colony. They will not say why they have come here to hunt. They have strange perspectives on life, on hunting, but they are very effective. Gand? Insects from Poisonous World. They do not praise their kills or accomplishments, and they are difficult to surprise. They have the instinct of play, yet are predators. It is strange. Who else? They are the Twin Sons, two Twi'lek slaves from Ryloth, slaves who killed their masters and developed a taste for it. They have mastered a dance of death. Very beautiful. Very dangerous. <laughs> if I could just go skeezy. <laughs> I could stay skeezy the whole time. I could be skeezy. Uh, or I could just be like, eh, I can handle it. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm still giggling at the skeezy answers. <laughs> what if I wanted to kill the other ones and still have the Twi'leks? Oh, Jesus. I can handle them both. Anyone else? They're the Zug brothers, of course. Cast from Duros for attempting to wipe out a rifle family of politically set Duros. There are hundreds of their kind, not grouped by blood, but by their cause, who claim they are new family. They seek to raise enough credits to seize Duros. There is a series of hunter droids that are new to the moon. There is always Hanar and Mira. They will hunt each other until the son of the system dies and beyond. Hanhar? Hanhar, a beast, a Wookiee, brought from a mid-rim world near my home of East Core. He was captured by Zerka, killed the Zerka slavers. He now hunts this moon and other systems. He uses bounty hunting as an excuse for taking slaves and for breaking and killing humans wherever he can. He is very dangerous, almost unstoppable when angry. It is said he killed his own tribe, but no one knows for sure. Okay, then what about Mira? Mira, once a slave captured by Hanhar, brought. Whoa. She's still a, a bounty hunter, perhaps one of the best I've ever seen. Some of that was skipped by very quickly, and I didn't hit any buttons, so I don't know what happened there, but whatever. Why is she one of the best bounty hunters you've ever seen? Because she does not kill except when she has to. She respects the hunt, not the slaughter. What about Hanhar? Oh, that, 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 that. Da -da -da, we already know that. Never mind. Okay. I think that's all my questions, but I'm going to double check. So. I guess, how do you know who I am? Much information has reached now, should I have you. Not many will recognize you, but all hunters will. Perhaps you wonder why the surface of the moon does not swarm with bounty hunters eager to capture you. It is because they cannot. It is their law. That makes sense. We've gone over the law before. And I think we're done. Yep. Cool. 
Also, that voice was a number to do on the throat, let me tell you. A commoner. Or someone. That would be me. And this was the doorway I would have been using otherwise. Okay. Alrighty. You, yeah, you sound not good. Are you TN Tubbs droid? Yeah, you don't sound like you've had a fun time. Okay. Let me see what I can do. Okay. That's... It's not what I wanted. I wanted to speak to you. Godin, me. Junk dealer, me. You, buy. I'm looking for an astromech droid. IT-31. Once belonged to TN Tub. Yeah, then we already know it's that one. No Tub droid. Only Godin droid. You seek Tub droid. Go see Tub. That droid there seems to know what I'm talking about. Droid was left on Tub junk pile. Left as parts. Left as trash. No claim. No claim except Godin. No talk. No argue. No right. Okay. Someone is a little bit territorial about their stuff. How about I buy that droid from you? Tough sell. Good droid. Not look it, but good. Sturdy. Smart. Many programs in tiny brain. 500 credits. 150 credits or nothing. Good talk. Take droids. Code and count credits. Well, I can actually get that cheap. Cool. Let me see what else you have for sale. Woo! A processor. Interesting. And then quadranium armor? What? But that's also class 2. Modular plating is also class 2. Agility upgrade. Interesting. Interesting. Some of these I wouldn't even be able to use on any of my droids. Zerka utility belt. Uh, I don't know if that's worth it to buy. I'm not even sure if buying the processor is worth it. Hmm. Huh. Not that sure. I know I can't buy that. <laughs> now that I look at the price. Jesus. Alright, um... Things I'm willing to sell. <laughs> anything. Anything at all. Oh, Jesus. Uh... Mm. I technically don't need this. And I don't get a lot of credits in the grand scheme of things for selling, or rather, breaking things down. So I'm better off just selling them. Or most of them, anyway. Okay, I think I'm good. Cool. Alright, I negotiated your release. Yep, you're free to go. See you back at Tien's garage. And I'm pretty sure I'm in the way of his pathing. We are. We are in the way of his pathing, so this will just get goofy. <laughs> ah, that was funny. That was funny. Hello there. The stink here in the refugee sector is worse than the rest of Narsha. You pronounce Narsha weird. Bick, get up and go home, or else I'll tell Moto to. Ah, a new face. Come in. Okay, well. <laughs> so much for telling whoever the hell. Borna Liss, who are you? Greetings, Offworlder. I am Borna Liss. 
Greetings, I'm Stray Cat. A pleasure. Might I ask what you're doing here? I was thinking of racing my swoop bike? Maybe. Then that would not be smart. At least not yet. Why is that? Racing now would be pointless. Upo has a champion that cannot be beat. A droid. A droid? Lupo began taking advantage of all the traffic of rich merchants and naive refugees by, swi uh, by fixing the swoop races on Nar Shaddaa. After being repeatedly hounded by the exchange for their cut of the profits, Lupo found a way to fix the races and keep every credit by going legit. So he built a droid to win the races. Lupo commissioned Coden to make a droid that could pilot a swoop bike better than any sentient ever could. A droid would be a formidable opponent. With a droid's body, his new pilot could withstand much greater trauma than flesh and blood, and all of the safety features could be removed from the swoop bike. So by not fixing the races anymore, the exchange couldn't claim a cut of the winnings? It is not the exchange's racer winning anymore. Even the huts have rules. So then why is this place empty? Well, as my father says, you can shave a Wookiee several times, but you can only skin him once. Meaning he scared away all the competition. Yes, when everyone realized that his champion was unbeatable, the bets dried up. So how do I beat him? I was hoping you'd ask me that. Okay, then tell me what to do. The droid is kept in a cage in between races so as not to damage itself. You see, Lupo is notoriously cheap and did not spring for any software upgrades beyond the piloting program. So I can hack it, is what you're telling me. So it is us now. I see you're smarter than you look, Offworlder. I made a generous bid to Lupo for the gallery and he accepted, but only under the condition that his droid can still race. And you would take over after he was gone? If Lupo's droid gets destroyed, he will lose not only the gallery, but his champion as well. The next racer to come along would not have very much competition. How should we proceed? Well, it just so happens that I have the access codes to the droid's cage. What good will that do? If someone wanted to reprogram the droid, or sabotage it in some fashion, they would need the access codes to the cage. Okay, what are the codes? Not so fast. If Lupo sees that someone has tampered with the droid, he will get it fixed and change the cage's codes. You must destroy it on the first try. If you are not up to the task, you will render my codes useless. I have enough computer skill that I can reprogram the computer behavior core with a process delay without him realizing it. You sound like you know what you're about. Here are the codes. So she has to make sure that I know what I'm doing before I actually do the doing. Oh, this is Lupo. Hello, Newface. Welcome to Lupo Swoop Viewing Gallery. You the owner of this establishment? Yes, my name is Lupo Shah, and you are? I'm Stray Cat. A pleasure to see a new face. It is rare that a new racer joins our ranks. Uh, rare how so? Ah, well there are not many people who can spare the credits to compete on a steady basis. Okay, I think I'll be going now. And I go through this. Modo so. Ah, another Mark. Uh, I mean Racer. Mark. Mark Kit. Marketable face. You have a very unique face that will be easy to market to the fans. Good save. Uh, never mind. I'm just gonna go around looting stuff. Oh, there's my ship. I can see my ship from here. Cool. Guron. I'm assuming these are the racers that still remain? What? <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's a sonic weapon. Well, that explains the Riot Buster bit. Upgradable on the scope. During the Argusdan's subjugation of the Lordians, 
I, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing these names right. Non-lethal technology was a profitable commodity. The Urgazdan riot buster knocks its targets to the ground and stuns them. Yep, like I said, that explains the sonic part. Guron. It has to be here. Somewhere. Uh... What are you looking for? Interface. Lupo's droid has an interface module for a swoop bike. You're looking for such a device here? Yes. The module helps the droid see what is around his bike. And that means it can avoid obstacles. All of the obstacles. Even the other swoop bikes. There are other swoop bikes on the track? Lupo's race not only race to use track, but is the only race to run the track backwards. He runs the races backwards. Other swoops come from in front. Hard to see before crash. Unless... Unless you steal the module. The module is part of the droid's frame. It cannot be removed. So what are you looking for? I'm looking for the interface... I'm looking for an interface module for me. Does such a device exist? No, but one has to be here somewhere. I can win if I can find it. Well, good luck with that. Nodobo. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Nodobo. Nodobo. Ah, stranger. Is it not beautiful? <laughs> I think I stepped in something over there. Is what not beautiful? Narshida teams with much hope, but all hope is for nothing. <laughs> That's a bit dark sidey. I could just leave or just question further. Why do you say that? Hope is gone. All credits go to Swoop Bike, but still I lose. Mm, why is that? Swoop is the only way for some to leave the planet. If Racer wins the races, the prize winnings will pay passage aboard transport. I can't talk today. My ability to talk has just gone down the tubes. Hmm. So how is your hope gone when it sounds like you've got a solid plan? Lupo Shar got a champion that cannot be beat. And worst of all, it is a droid. How are we supposed to compete with a machine? Hmm. Perhaps you are not approaching this situation from the right direction. What other direction is there? A droid's brain will always be faster than a sentient's brain. No one can hope to beat him. A droid, yes, off-worlder. A droid's body can withstand forces much greater than yours or mine. So Lupo removed the inertial reducers. With less weight, the droid's swoop can go much faster and maneuver much quicker to avoid the fan's blasts. Fan blast? There are fans along the course that will blow you up, down, left, or right. You must compensate for them or else you will crash. Hmm, thanks for the tip. Maybe someone can even the odds. So, the race goes backwards. And on top of that... There's fans that will screw with directions you're going. Okay. Well, let's go for the one I know I can do. Slice into the droid's behavioral core. You have bypassed the meager security lockouts. Lupo must have considered the shield adequate protection. There's only one file in the droid's behavioral subroutines. Open file swoop o o o one. <laughs> Do I even bother with the zeros if it's the only fucking subroutine? This file contains all of the data needed for the droid to race the swoop track without incident. Reprogram the droid. You have reprogrammed the droid to think it is in a race and about to lose. This activates the droid's self-destruct system. Whoa. What's going on here? Uh, your droid seems to have expired. The droid! Lupo will have my gills on a plate. What happened? What happened? I, 
believe your droid had a minor malfunction. I saw nothing. I'm ruined. I can't afford to build another one. Those creditors will have my Liku on a plate. Well, perhaps someone can buy the gallery from you. Yes, I should be able to get enough to pay everyone off and still have some left over. I must move quickly, but who would buy this Gizka-infested hole? Perhaps Borna Lors? Borna Lis, rather? Borna? Yes, she's been trying to snatch this place out from under me for some time now. Borna! Borna! Well. Oh, I can loot the robot, too. You're kidding. Oh, come on. It won't even let me actually loot it. There we go. Droid Molten Cannon? Molten Cannon. Interesting. He's in no state to have a conversation. It looks like he's dead. <laughs> so, I mean... You have performed wonderfully. Lupo could not sell me the gallery fast enough. For a very good price, I might add. And left the planet on the first transport with creditors grabbing his Leku. Here's a cut of the profits I made off the purchase of this place. They're yours in any case. All this is thanks to you. Wow, I got 2,000 off of that. Wowzers. Okay. I hope business begins to pick up soon. Well, I kind of want to race now. <laughs> I want to race. You can, but be forewarned. The heavy lifters are operating today. We must jump to avoid them as they move cargo. Anything else I need to know? The track we use is actually an old sewer system that runs beneath the city. Under the refugee camp, around the methane bar. Well, I don't know what the rest of it was. Do you know about the other swoop bikes and the fan blasts? I've learned about those. Let's see how it goes. Um. I. I don't have. <laughs> I don't have any view. What the hell? <laughs> what the absolute fuck? I. I. I have to forfeit. I don't have a view. What the fuck? That was a terrible accident. I couldn't see. Can I try again? Yeah. Is it just... It... It doesn't give me a view. At least it doesn't charge me money for this. Or at least it better fucking not. Okay, it didn't charge me any money for it. Oh my god, what is that bug? And it's not related to like a memory leak or anything. This is a beginning of a recording session. The hell? What the absolute fuck? No time to talk. My race is soon and I must prepare. Uh, I don't have time for this. I don't know why I can't race. That's shenanigans. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. Well, I guess we're done with this, and we're not going to be able to use a swoop track, like at all. Alright, well. There's going to be something going on over there if I walk forward, but we're at the end of the time for this episode, so I'm just going to end the episode here for right now. Namely, because I have no idea what the hell's going on anymore. What the hell happened with the swoop minigame? I don't know. Whatever. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and...
trying to really just get further into Nar Shaddai and figure out who needs help and why. And uh, turns out the refugee sector really needs help because the exchange is really trying to crunch them. But the exchange kind of runs basically everything on this planet, so I need to make sure that most of the steps I take are calculated. Therein lies the problem, because I'm bad at math. <laughs> so I guess we'll see how it works for you.